friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range, doing a little bit of goofing around this afternoon. Had a busy day, got some work done over at the church and decided to come over here. It's an absolute beautiful day, a phenomenal day for late October in upstate New York. Uh, out here in just a flannel shirt. Earlier, I didn't even need that, but uh, it is starting to cool down a little bit more. So, but it's an absolute beautiful day. Beautiful day to get out and do some shooting. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing than out wasting some 22 bullets in a couple of my old fantastic 22s. <laughs> so <clears throat> the one we're going to be doing a video on here is my one of my Winchester Model 75s. This particular one based on the serial number dates to uh, 1942. I do have the original uh, globe sight that came with this as well, but I, I, I put a Redfield Olympic globe on the front just to give me a little bit better sighting picture. This thing has some beautiful wood. Let me see. There you go. Um, but uh, I've had this one for several years. It is drilled and tapped for a scope. I believe that's factory. This, the sun is just in the, there's a good look at the wood. Just a gorgeous piece of wood on this one. Um, <clears throat> I have a Redfield, uh, what is that? Oh, I think it's a Redfield Model 75 uh, peep sight on the back and then like I said, the Redfield Olympic Globe up in the front. And I do have, like I said, the, the original globe for it is in a little bag in the, in the gun sack. So I do have all the original parts. This one, this particular one is a civilian model. The other 75 that I have is a U.S. property military trainer. And, uh, they are pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be shooting this one at 50 yards. Uh, we'll do a couple of groups. I have a camera running on my target down at 50 yards. Uh, one of the bullseyes that doesn't have any target impacts on it, I don't believe, but the other one I have taped up. It's a used, a used target from my bullseye league. <clears throat> These are about a three inch bullseye. They make a good Good sight picture at 50 yards for the sighting system that I have on this gun. I've been out here playing for a couple hours already. Uh, there was a few other guys here sighting in guns for deer hunting and whatnot. So I uh, had to wait for them to get done doing what they uh, were doing before, <clears throat> before we uh, got some videos going here. So well, let's see what we can do. This particular one, the Redfield Globe, actually has a, one of those, uh, like a polymer plastic insert with a with a circle dot, and this one is yellow or orangish colored. I don't have too many of those, but I do like I do like this one. I think I have one other one that's like a clear. This gun does seem to like this uh, TAC-22 ammo. Shoots it pretty well. Shooting at 25 yards and it was just one, one in, right after the other into the same hole. So I decided I better uh, stretch out its uh, limitations a little bit and take it out to 50. All right. 
you see how that looks. You guys already saw it, but. How to find it. Not really that great. Well, let's go ahead and try one more. This gun usually shoots this normal pretty darn good, so. But, just like always, when I get on camera, <laughs> I get camera shy or starstruck or whatever you want to call it. And there is a little bit of a breeze swirling around here, but I'm not going to try to blame a poor group on that. That was definitely. Uh, Kind of wondering. Kind of wondering if I've been I've been kind of switching this back and forth, checking out other different ammos. I wonder if I might have shot something else in this the last time and never did, did any following shots. Looks like I got one flyer there too. Huh. <clears throat> Stand by. Alrighty. Well, no, that wasn't a flyer. The one that was that hole in the target that was down low and to the right was actually uh, like a ricochet off the or a piece of the chicken wire punctured a hole in in the uh, target when it got struck by the bullet. So the five bullet impacts are in the bullseye like you saw already. So um, <clears throat> I want to do uh, one more group and I'm going to do this one at 25 yards and just to see how it will do closer in. And uh, like I said before, when it was, when I was shooting off camera with this at 25 yards, it was essentially uh, one one bullet after another into the same hole. So, not saying I'm going to repeat that uh, <laughs> or can repeat that on camera. If you guys watch my channel at all, you know how I go on camera here, but. Let's see what we can do. Just double check which bullseye I'm looking at here. Okay. I 
hate to start shooting the one that's already got holes in it. <laughs> Gun does have a very nice trigger just uh, super crisp there is absolutely no movement at all just a nice little squeeze and it pops right off Take a quick pick, uh, quick peek, and then we'll finish this up. Oh crud! Well, I had four into one hole, and then one off a little bit to the right. But <laughs> like I said, I can't, uh, can never do the best groups I do uh, when I'm on camera. But anyway, there you go. Uh, first group out there, nothing to write home about, but. Uh, Second group was pretty good, and the 25-yard group was very good. Uh, there you go, my 1942 Winchester Model 75. Um, these are great. You can get your hands on one of these. Uh, they usually are able to be found a, a whole lot cheaper than the Model 52, and they're pretty darn close to the to the performance you'll get out of a Model 52, depending on the ammo you put in them too. But uh, they're, they're a great shooting gun for the price that you can get them for. But anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.